NFL getting adjusted to a new team can be tough and it's even tougher now since teams can't meet or work out together. Channel 9's Kevin Seward talked to new Panthers defensive end Steven Weatherly about the unique way he got to meet his new teammates. I'm going to do everything I can in my power to help bring a championship here. Defensive end Steven Weatherly signed with the Carolina Panthers this offseason after four years in Minnesota. But before he could hit the practice field, he and his new teammates took to the streets of Charlotte to protest against racial injustice. We are a part of the community as well. You are our main consumer, and so... We hear you and we want to be a part of the solution. Shaq Thompson was the main Panthers player to round up teammates to make sure their voices were heard and Weatherly took notice. I was talking to former teammates with the Vikings uh, about some of the things that they were doing up there with the social impact group in Minnesota. And uh, he was like, yeah, I just got off the phone with Shaq and I gave him your number and so he'll be reaching out soon. And so like he's, he's on that level. Not exactly how a player usually meets his new teammates. With the COVID-19 outbreak, all team meetings to this point have been virtual. Today we were talking with uh, D Brown about uh, some of the rookie duties and like what kind of snacks we want <laughs> in the room when the, when the room opens up and stuff like that. What's been the most requested snack? Uh, sunflower seeds. KK said I need the whole assortment, every <laughs> every flavor there is. <laughs> and you had your own weekly show with the Vikings uh, called the Weatherly Report. You were yeah. a bar you were a barista. Nitro draft mocha for Ann. And you were a scientist. You were a game show host. Ooh. What brings out that personality about you? Like, what gets you into that role? Because you seem very into into every one of those things that I see. I just want everyone to have their cookies. I'm always about trying new things because um, you never know what you're gonna like until you try it. You miss 100 of the shots you never take. And so, um, just growing up, my mom and grandma always preached that just like try it, and if you're gonna try it, do your best at it. I don't dip a toe in, I dive head first. <laughs>